Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. It's really good to have you. Yes, yes, yes. So, my name is Sassy Funke and I'm a Nigerian travel and lifestyle vlogger blogger based here in Lagos, Nigeria. If it's your first time, please, 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 don't forget to hit the subscribe button right there, I think. <laughs> and after you do that, don't forget to hit the little bell notification button right after it. This basically ensures that you're the first to get notifications when I put videos out. So if I put a video out, you're the first to get the notification on that. So make sure you do that, yes? So what is my channel about? My channel is about travel and lifestyle. So I talk a lot about, you know, travel videos, travel hacks, how to's, you know, how to save money doing travel. I also talk about, you know, life in Lagos, you know, living in Lagos, moving to Lagos, just covers the spectrum of all things Lagos too, which is very fun and exciting even if you don't know Lagos. So make sure to, you know, hit the subscribe button and, you know, let's be connected. So today guys, I have a topic that is a bit dear to my heart and you know, I think should be interesting for you guys too. I'm going to be talking about the unwritten rules to attending any Nigerian wedding, you know, even if it's Nigerian wedding in Lagos, it's in America, it's in London, these are the unwritten rules that you really should follow next time you're invited or not invited to one. So let's go. Number one, don't do mugwamoya. Huh. What does mugwamoya mean? Mugwamoya is actually like a Yoruba term, but it basically means, you know, I heard about something, then I just dropped by. So basically you heard about a wedding happening and you just said, you know, well, let me just go there and say hi to them or, you know, attend their wedding. If you're not invited, you know, really, you shouldn't be attending. No, you shouldn't. Number two, if the celebrant doesn't offer you ashwebi, don't go and source it yourself. So what does ashwebi mean? Ashwebi is basically the cloth that the, the material that the, um, the friends or the family wear basically to the wedding and you know, the celebrant offers it to family and close friends. If the family or close friends didn't give you one, you shouldn't go and source us, you know, in the market, say Balugu market, I'm going to, I must rock like them as I'm part of the family. It's not polite to do that, so don't do it. Number three, the cameraman is not your personal photographer. Like, I go to weddings and I see a lot of people literally hugging the photographer, like, ah, take another angle, take this one, ah, let me see it, let me see it. The photographer was given a job, right? Was paid good money to, to take the event and capture the event. They're not your personal one, so just bear that in mind next time you're like, you know, haggling the photographer. <laughs> Number four, it is not okay to bring like containers, like takeaway containers to the wedding. For those who don't understand what I mean, some people actually go to a wedding and they bring plastic, I don't know, those plastic containers that take away food to make sure that they take away some food to eat later. Yes, you know, some weddings, they really pack it for you and they give it to go, but don't go to a wedding with the takeaway container. It's not right. Number five, arrive on time. I know we Nigerians, so it's actually even Africans, we don't understand the concept of this. But the truth is, you know, people really invested in spending so much on an amazing event for you guys to attend and be a part of. So try your best to attend as close to time, not events at two and you get there at 9 p.m. It's not right and it's not polite. So don't do it, guys. Number six, the servers are not your house help or house boy or house girl. Like the way some people treat their house helps in this country, <laughs> that's another story. But you know, have the courtesy to be polite and say please to people, not just treat them as if they are a slave. Like pe people like it, be polite. Number seven, 
have you guys heard hope you guys learned that one because people are human and you gotta treat them with the same decency you know that you want people to treat you so just be polite and say please when you need something yeah number seven if the event is not up to your standard my sister my brother carry your bag and leave it's not by force, so you're not in prison. No one is saying you can't exit. Because I've been to some weddings where people are just gossiping and said, ah, look at what she's wearing. Ah, look at the flowers. Look at the food. It's so bad. Like, don't they have money? Huh. If it's not up to your standard, just be, you know, the best thing you can do is just be like, you know what, oh, guys, I have something else to do. And you go, leave. It's not by force. Because it's not polite for you to be, you know, kicking and screaming because the food did not taste up to what you thought. You should have brought your own food next time. Eh? Number eight, don't kiss the bride on their cheek with your lips. Like, you know, the bride paid money for that fleekness face that she has, and putting lipstick on it will just destroy it, destroy the pictures. So don't do it, guys. Number nine, and the final one, guys. Do not try and outshine the bride. Ha! You know, I know Nigerians, we take any wedding, it's an Oscars event. You know, we have to be dressing as if we are we are going to be nominated. We're nominated and we're going to win this award tonight. You're not nominated and you're not the award winner. The bride is the award winner. So, you know, even if you dress, like, don't try and treat it as if, you know, this is your gala. Like, this is, you put money to create this event or you're going to win an award. You are not. So just respect it, you know, that don't try and outshine the bride. So guys, so those are my nine tips on the basically unwritten rules of attending a Nigerian wedding. I think you guys, I'm sure, will have other solid rules. So please click, you know, comment below, tell me what rules that I missed out on. And if you disagree with some of my rules, let me know. I want to know which rules you disagree with, yes. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you guys, you know, click subscribe so we're, you know, you can join on this fun. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up too.